everybody, it's Gamma Lad. Welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon, A New Beginning. In the last episode, we pretty much just did some exploration around the town-like area and some other stuff, and yeah. Today, we will be going forward in our adventure and seeing what else is going to happen as we go through our time here on our wonderful farm. And it's only 10 a.m., but you know what? It's better. What better time than to go to sleep? I know I could probably stay up later and water my plants, and... At this point in time, not really worth it, so let's just take a look and see what happens on the next day because something has to happen or not. Nothing happens whatsoever. That's fine, we can get we can still get things going. So let's just water our plants for the day. Oh, as you can see, trees will randomly start sprouting and growing on your farm. Um, once you unlock an axe, you can chop them down with ease. Unfortunately, we do not have one right now, so we're, we're pretty much forced to let it grow and kind of put water in my watering can, watered the wrong spot instead. Oh well, such is life. But, uh, yeah. Sorry for the lack of updates over the weekend. I've just been pretty swamped uh, with schoolwork and stuff. And I don't even know this video will be up today on Monday. I'm recording it today on Monday. It's about 4 o'clock. And I don't want to get it up too late, but I have class tonight at 6. So we'll see what happens if the video will be done rendering before I leave for school. If not, this video, this video, you'll be watching this video on Tuesday. Watering can is almost empty. Alright. But, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Um... I'm gonna try doing a lot more backlogging of these series now because I really want I just want more videos up and it's stupid how I just don't have time to backlog because of schoolwork. Uh, the joys of college. I'll I love it and I hate it at the same time. But oh well. But all the plants water for now, and um, that's pretty much it. Let's just go around town and see if we can, you know, give anyone any gifts or anything. Because, you know, we're being the nice neighbor that we are. We want to build up some friendships with people, get some free stuff later on. When our, when our birthday rolls around, people are going to remember. So let's go and talk to, um, the person, let's go talk to whatever this person's name is that I obviously forgot. Let's give you a flower. Because, you know, in this game, you can actually give gifts. <laughs> I know, right? Human interaction! Ah, oh, she's eating her breakfast. Bob Saget. Yeah, I should probably mention people, when um, characters are eating, they will not be willing to accept gifts. So you must be waiting until they are um, pretty much standing up and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Nothing pretty much there. Um, I don't know when the next major event's going to happen. I know the next person moves into town on Spring 15, but we're only on Spring 5. And I don't want to just like cut away until something happens. Just, you know, explore the town and just talk about the things we see. Because that's what a Let's Play is after all, right? Right? Anyway, I digress. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, for the, for the uh, a good bulk, uh, the, a good bulk of your first playthrough of this game will be you going around these four areas, just scavenging for stuff to sell to make some money to buy better crops, so you can eventually never have a need to come out here. But even on my personal file, where I've gotten much later into the game, I've always had a reason to keep coming out here and scavenging for materials because you know, as you there's a like, crafting system in this game and a building system. Which we'll not get into for quite a bit, but it's it's a pretty big part of this game. Which I'm surprised they don't introduce right off the bat. So, yeah. We got some bamboo shoots. And, um, is that it over here? I'll get this butterfly. We'll be nice and rich after all this. By the way, our max inventory slots are, is only 30 right now. We'll have to upgrade our backpack later on in the game when we get some more money. But, um, until then, we'll just have to make do with what we have. Alright. Had to pop, pull up a timer. Yeah, I don't want to make a video too long. Because who wants to see, who wants to see me rambling on here for like 40 minutes? Well, spoilers, it could happen in a future Let's Play. Just saying that now. <laughs> but anyway, let's just continue on farming here. And I, out of force of habit, I keep coming down this way knowing that there's a boulder coming. There's a boulder right there and I can't really jump by it. But we can get some more flowers. Another honeycomb. I love my honeycomb cereal. I haven't had that in years, actually. I wonder if they still make honeycomb cereal. I digress. Uh, getting way off topic at hand right now. So it's about 9 a.m. I got plenty of stuff to give away. Let's go talk to each person and give them a gift and see how they respond to getting flowers. I do know that, actually, I could probably can buy Dunhill's favorite gift. So I'll, I'll do that and get that Dunhill. But, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it, really, with um, what we can do around. It's probably the last time I'll be showing my showing off, you know, my scavenging escapades. And from now on, I'll probably do that off screen. And probably when I'm not recording, because nothing really happens when you're scavenging around like that. So, uh, yeah. Okay, you're not there. Where are you? Oh, by the, yeah, for the if you touch the map, you can see your people are in the entire world view. As you can see, there's a lot of, um, blocked off areas by trees. 
I wonder if you can do anything with those later on in the game. Don't know. Anyway, let's just go in here and um, give you a flower because, you know, we're nice people like that. So let's uh, let's give you a moondrop flower because you've got five of those. Plenty to give away. There you go, Hannah. Thank you, Pat. I don't mind if I do. And that's all you have to say. Okay, whatever. You only give people one gift a day, unlike other Harvest Moon games. Like, well, actually not. It's pretty normal now in Harvest Moon games. I only give a person one, a person one gift a day. I know that in Harvest Moon, uh, Friends of Mineral Town, I would just uh, spam Ellie with um, dumpling powder, and she'd be happy with that. Which is kind of funny. Oh, I've got to buy Dunhill to your gift. If the store sells it, and it's for the sake of demonstration, I just want to show what happens when you give a um, someone their favorite gift. Assuming this, the store sells it. All right, let's just talk to the store clerk here. Hello, Hannah. Let's buy. Oh yeah, she can make bo um. Bo oh, I can't even pronounce the, the word bouquets. Yeah, bo bouquets of flowers. Um, those are really good for giving to people who love flowers. Um, I'll get more into that later. But as of right now, only two people live in town, and we have no reason to give those out. Um, you have other seeds here. We have grass seeds. Um, type of flowers here I can't pronounce. And we can buy recipes. Uh, yeah, it's for cooking. We can buy soup. And we can buy Hannah's recipes. But we're buying wine. Why are we buying wine? Because, well, we're alcoholics. No, not really. Um, on my farm, we will be sober. We'll be vigilant because we are not going to get drunk on the farm and die in a very tragic farming accident. We're just going to be. And I, I'm pretty sure the main character is only like 19. Gonna go out on a limb. He's no older than 19. But you know who does like wine and who does run this town and he can apparently run it drunk? Dunhill! Yep, he loves wine. That's, that's, if you want to, uh, please don't. No, we're not eating the wine after I just said we're not getting drunk on this farm. Just give it to Dunhill. Oh, thank you. This is a fantastic gift. I'm impressed how thoughtful you are, Pat. And that that was, um, messages like that will let you know you gave him one of their favorite gifts. And I think that's... Plus 800 on the friendship meter. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, that's pretty much it for that day. So, uh, yeah, let's just go on to the next day. Maybe something else will happen. Or who knows, maybe other boring... Oh, hello, Pat, Pat. You worked hard today. You seem to be sleeping soundly, so this replied to me in your dream. Pat, are you having trouble figuring out what to do on your farm? Uh, no, not really. Got set? Well then, good night, sleep, uh, good night, have a good night's sleep, sweet dreams. Oh, um, I don't know what would have happened if I said yes. I'm pretty sure I said yes in my first playthrough, and it seems we've got nothing new going on right now. Oh, isn't this unfortunate? I guess I'm just gonna cut ahead until something does happen, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, I thought I might as well just come back here to show off. Hey, we got our fully grown turnips! So, yeah, now we can harvest these turnips, and we can sell them on the market. Or by sh putting them in the shipping bin, I mean. Um, my harvest harvesting these, I'll harvesting these. Sorry, I should probably mention it this way. Um, the vegetables you grow up different qualities marked by stars, um, after you harvest them. The higher the stars, the more they're worth. Um, getting higher start vegetables requires you to fertilize the land and do a few other convoluted stuff, which I will probably get into much later in the game. I call it generational farming. Um... You'll see what I mean when I get into that, um, generational farming. But as you can see, we only have half-star turnips. And we got 20 of them. Wow. All right. I think that each one you, um, pick is like two, I want to say. But all we got is, um, two more turnip seeds. So let's just throw these down here. We'll talk to Hannah about growing some more. And, um, the one thing I will grab about this game, it does play a very slow start compared, um... Comparatively speaking, the other Harvest Moon games. I mean, if, if things keep going at the rate they are, I don't think the next event will happen until we meet our first uh, guest in town, which is going to be in, like, seven days in the game. And I'm going to be cutting out a lot of that. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, do you want me to talk over this mundane stuff, like, you know, running around farming, which we're supposed to do in the game? Or should I focus more on, like, a lot of, like, developments in the game's story? And show off some farming. I can do both, but I just want to know what you guys want to see because I don't want every video to be like, you know, like 15 minutes of nothing but the same routine over and over again. Which I think after you guys see it maybe once or twice, you kind of get how the whole thing's going to go. But, you know, let me know what you guys do in the comments below if you don't mind seeing more farming time or whatnot. But let's just sell those. Alright, yep. 
All right, yeah, I forgot to shift this other stuff that I got um, from the other day. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for right now. I'll be sure to show off what happens when you first harvest vegetables and explaining how the quality of each one will, de will um, affect their value. So we're gonna call, we're gonna go to sleep here and see anything happens in the next day and let's see what is going to happen. Sleep for today. Let's really hope something exciting does happen. Because I want to talk more about this game. Ah, here we go. Meet Neil. Neil's apparently a cow. Two cows. Or a cow. Okay. Sure. I'll, I'll roll with it. Let's meet this Neil person. All right, Neil. We get it. You're a cow. So... Ah, yep, I knew it. Neil's the cow. And the awkward feel in the cow has better hair than me. But it's an adorable cow. Hey, you there. Are you Pat? Hmm? Who was that? Neil, do you hear that? Oh, wait. Who's this person? Hmm? Oh, you must be Neil. Not the cow. Nice face you got there. So, um, I'm Pat. What's, what's your name? I'm Neil. I run the animal store in this town. Old man Dunhill sends sends me to give his regards. Well, that was thoughtful of him. So not so thanks for stopping by. But what's the lift the cow? Oh, this think of it as a contribution to your stock. What? You're giving me a cow? Receives a cow. Don't get don't get me wrong, it's a present from Dunhill. I just I'm just a messenger. All right, Neil, but thanks for the cow. How are, how about picking a name? Oh, we can name our cow. So, same way we named ourselves, we can name our cow. And just because I'm a wonderful friend, I want you to name the cow Ruth because it's a wonderful name for a cow. Like I did in A New, Be a New Beginning and uh, The Lost Valley. How about Ruth? That sounds about right. Hmm, I guess that'll do. That's a good name, Neil. Don't say that'll do. Even even Ruth agrees. And apparently she liked your name. I'm glad you like it. Alright, so now we can go and talk more about raising animals in your farm, which is actually, admittedly, we've been to it a bit faster than most Harvest Moon games. This one doesn't normally trust people. I had a hard time bringing her here. I think she's quite fond of you. Aw, thanks, Ruth. So, uh, what can I do? It, I, it was her farewell. It was her farewell gift. I'll give it to you as a present, but just this one time. Well, all right, cool. Tools for breeding animals. Here's a milker, a brush, and a pitchfork. Use them wisely. Oh, we shall. Wait a minute. Aren't you a total beginner at stock breeding? Do you even know how to take care of animals? Well, of course I do, because i played this game before, but for the sake of tutorial and convenience, let's just say nope. Nope. Just as, just as I thought. Well, well, I'll have to give you a crash course. This is the barn. You will keep all your livestock in here, by the way. The hens stay in the coop. Which we can get to build. We'll get one later on in the game. I'm going, I'm going in. Follow me. Going in hot. All right. To take care of your animals, you need physical contact, brushing, harvesting, feed, a clean barn, and grazing. I'll explain them one by one. Pay attention. Or the there is this. So basically, physical contact and like other Harvest Moon games, you can like you know pet your cows or pick up your other animals and talk to them, and you have to clean them with a brush so they'll stop. Being, they won't be dirty and they'll be happy. Um, you get different products from each animal. Basically, from cows you get milk, sheep you get wool, and chickens you get you get eggs. What of course? Why wouldn't you get anything else? I guess you could get. Sorry about that. Next up is feeding. So basically, you you feed your chick, your cows fodder, and your chickens feed, and that's pretty much it. And the barn will get dirty. You'll find poop everywhere. So you have to use the pitchfork to clean it up. Easy enough. That the final step is grazing. Let the animals out on sunny days or snowy days. Return them up into the barn in the evening. Letting them out in rainy or windy days causes a great deal of stress, so don't make them, don't make that mistake. Sounds good to me. To let the animals out, push them out of the barn. Repeat the process to bring them back inside. Get ready for a lot of hard work using the farm bell can make your work a bit easier. 
Cool, cool. Whoa, I almost forgot. I have a, I have to tell you all about the animal information as well. Here is the animal information. Use this to keep track of animals. Mood, mood levels, stress levels, and daily care, care status. Check it out. So basically in here, it'll show the, how much the, the animals like us. Now, the stress will be built up. The higher the stress level, the higher chance your cow or other animals can get sick. So basically, take care, good care of your animals, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Sick animals are not productive. I sell animal medicine in my store. Use it to treat them. If you leave them to fend for themselves, they'll die. Be sure to use the medicine. So that's pretty much it. You can always check back in your bookshelf. Cool, cool, cool. Finally, let me tell you about my animal store. It's open Monday to, to Thursdays from the hours of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're closed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so make sure to buy everything you need beforehand. So yeah, you may want to stock up on some animal medicine because you never know that one day your animal can get sick and it's the day that he's closed. Also, my shop is located in the town plaza, so it's closed on rainy days. Keep, it, keep that in mind. So I'll be heading back. Ruth is counting on you, so make sure you take proper care of her. Sounds good. Well, it's probably a lot better to let the game explain it because it makes it a bit more of a streamlined explanation. So now we've got our first animal to take care of. How awesome is that? So, we're aware right in the barn. Ruth is, looks nice and healthy today. I'm hoping you gave us some feed. No, I guess not. All right, well, uh, do we get any feed? If not, I'm gonna call that guy out. Uh, we didn't get any feed. Well, no. oh wait, put fodder in storage, okay. Uh, did I get any fodder? I, I could have sworn he gives us some because it's kind of stupid if he doesn't. Um, no, 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 it's not sort. The sorting option make, condenses all your items and it'll average the quality of them. You don't want to do that. Uh, did, it, did it give us any fodder? I guess not. Holy cow, defend for ourselves for a cow for now. Um, crud. I guess that's an excuse to go out and buy his stuff on the first day he's in town. Go figure, right? Well, I think I'll pretty much call it an episode here. While um, I'm off screen, I'll take care of Ruth and make sure that she gets her, her feet and everything. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos in this series. And check out my other series on this channel. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad, signing off.